What is up everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to play some more PvZ Garden Warfare 2. We are going to go head into the Infinity Time thing for the plants and then next episode we'll go into the Infinity Time thing for zombies. So let's get started. Initiate greeting number 77. Greetings agent, you look warm and fuzzy all over. Thanks. I guess. You seem so much cooler now that you're an official agent, because we weren't cool before. Your primary assignment is to scout out the area known as Infinity. In the mid-1980s, three of the top agents were partying so hard they created a singularity and were sucked into Infinity. Crazy Dave believes that he has constructed a vehicle that will allow you to enter this mysterious space. But be forewarned, no one has traveled to Infinity has ever come back. Look dramatic. Good luck! Thanks! I guess we're gonna go into it, that's fine. Just blindly, that's fine. It's cool, it's normal. Whatever. This is a really cool sequence though, I, I really love this. It's the Danger Zone theme, it's really, it's really great. Way to the Danger Zone. It's awesome. I love it. Alright, and into the drama we go. Oh boy. So, Infinity Time is pretty much you go into a giant robotic mech of either a cat or dinosaur, and you destroy gnomes and crap. Because that's normal. Yeah, it explains the rules right there. I'll let you read that. It's a survival mode, yeah, that perfect explanation. But first you have to stabilize time. Because that makes sense. Time belongs to the gnomes! Yeah, gnomes are gonna be jerk about how time is like theirs for some reason. Or some crap like that. Ah, no good! Stop charging the hands of time! And they, they'll send like gnome floaties, I think that's what that is. Hmm. Well, that... Well, okay, I'm glad we settled that. Rise, my gnomes! Show our gnomish ways! So it is a wave mode. It's kind of like Garden Ops, but not at all like Garden Ops. That's a perfect explanation. So there's small gnomes, big gnomes, king gnomes, they, they just don't stop. And this video could have gone on for hours, not even joking. It's how long, like, it's how long you want to play, um, and how long you cannot die. That also is a factor, gonna be honest. All right. So I got, the, I got the first wave done. I think that's pretty good. Shooty gnome. So there's also, like I said, there's different types of gnomes. Um, shooty gnomes. Guess what? Surprise, surprise. They shoot you. With guns. Because they're shooty gnomes. Also, these time shards, um, they help you get a special reward at the end. Also, they heal you. So time shards are very important. Never disregard the time shards. I don't know what I was doing. What, 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 what was I doing there? I was just kind of sitting there, just waiting for someone to shoot at me. All right. If we destabilize time with our floaties, you go bye-bye. So, like I said, you have to stabilize time at the beginning, but if the gnomes at any time destabilize time, you're done. You're dead. Actually, technically, everyone should be dead, but especially you are dead. I don't know why. Just go with it. You know, you can't ask questions. Just gotta go with it. Honestly... 
you know, ne I never ask questions anymore. I'm just like, well, this is this is my life, you know. I just kind of go with it. At this point, nothing is a shock. You just got to go with it. I mean, I'm fighting gnomes in a dino mech. There, nothing could be more weird than that. Honestly, it doesn't get much wow than that, you know. Explody gnomes. Oh, these guys are fun. They just carry bombs, and when they're in range, explode. They're suicide gnomes. Their job is to carry bombs, and when when they see fit, explode right in your face. And they die. <laughs> Immediately. That was not a good play by me. Yep. Should have played that a lot better. See, there he goes, exploding. What a shock. The blue can smell you. The Gnome King emerges! Oh, fun! The Gnome King, welcome. Every five waves, a Gnome King shows up. And it's one of the Rainbow Gnome Kings that we battled in the Trials of Gnomus. Yeah, they show up and is like, hey, um, what's up, bro? I'm here to kill you. Um, mm-hmm. And you just kind of, you kind of have to deal with it. They shoot rainbow lasers. They're really, really cool. It's, it's, it's great. Awesome time. You're, there's nothing wrong with it. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Sorry, I, that song popped in my head when I said that. Um, <laughs> All right, yeah, and then when you destroy every fifth wave you go into a new realm So now we are out of the blue realm, and we are now into The green green realm yay I got it right So at this point it practically repeats except there's a secret that I have not yet revealed and I will wait until it pops up to talk about it. Because it's really, really cool. So we're just going to be killing gnomes like a boss. Um, everything seems quote-unquote normal because this isn't normal. Um, but it's, gonna, it's somewhat normal. What I should be doing is not picking these up because they give me health. I don't know why I'm, like, running around trying to get these time shards. Um, because, you know, health and all. It'd be great to not, you know, to have health later on. Awesome to have that. But Alex thinks health is stupid. Here we go! It's the Nemesis Wave! Uh, where you battle... Good old friends. Some zombies. And they summon meddling tombstones. That's what they call it. it it's kind of cool. I thought it was cool that they implemented this, you know, into the game. Like, you know, they could have just been gnomes and been done with it. But they wanted to be like, well, let's make a nemesis wave. Because why the heck not? And I'm glad they did. It's really... This is really fun. It's just so so time consuming. I don't have time to do this. I think I've only played like I think I played it like maybe two times, like you know, two more times. Um like infinity time I've played it like two more times after the videos I made, like two on each maybe. And one of them like I was like I was either snowed in or it was a uh, hurricane whatever. Um like you know, one of the hurricanes Harvey and uh, Irma, right? Hurricane Irma, right? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm bad with uh, natural disasters. I know I probably shouldn't be, but I am, so just leave me alone, okay? So. Giga Gnomes. Oh, boy. Giga Gnomes. If you thought the King Gnome was big and annoying, Say hello to the Giga Gnomes. Um, so they're kind of like the King Gnome, 
except huge. And they have a, a little staff, and they smack you with it. Yeah, it's that. It's it's a basic gnome, but huge. It's pretty annoying. And I do not like it, of course. Who would actually like that? So, yeah, I mean, honestly, you just have to prioritize it. That's really what you gotta do. It's all you can do. Because if you don't, you dead. You're, like, super dead. And then it kind of stacks, you know. Like, Gnome Floaties and Giga Gnome are coming to beat your face in. So, yeah, Gnome Floaties, Giga Gnomes, and then Shooty Gnomes, Shield Gnomes. All the Gnomes are here. And it is terrible. Oh yeah, the gnome floaties uh, shoot at you, because that's normal. Along with everything else that's normal. That is one of the things that is normal. Totally. Mm-hmm. So obviously I'm not doing good. I am at 800 health. <laughs> Let's just take a minute. And realize how bad that is. That is terrible. Look, I'm talking awful on another level. Like, it's bad. That is, like... Again, this is my first time playing it, but that is one of my worst performances... Like, ever. And I guess, like, you know, I get a get-out-of-jail-free card because it is my first time, but still. It's just atrocious how bad I do. Pretty bad. Yeah, we're just... <laughs> oh! Okay, cool. Just kill him. That's fine. Of the greeting ways, Gnome's the green. Well, Gnomus the green. Guess what? It's the Gnome King! Hi, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Super excited. Yeah, those blue um, balls um, of energy, plasma, whatever it is. If you remember um, from the Trials of Gnomus, they kill a character in one hit. So you know they're strong. And it's just really, really fun. Oh, yeah, um, there's a tank commander there. Mm-hmm. For no reason. Just cuz. Like, why the heck not? You know. They just thought... I think PopCap was like, huh. How do we make this more annoying? Add a Gargantuar? And a tank commander that's 50 freaking stories high. Yeah, that sounds fine. Like, what the heck? There's regular... Soldiers, I'm gonna die if I don't move. So I think I get out of it. Wow. Good job, me. Got out of there. I don't expect to live in much longer. I, oh, oh no. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna... Oh no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Good job, Alex. <laughs> you, you, you really did him. You really did him in. Good job. I'm so proud of myself. That is sarcasm. But here's the cool thing at the end. The better you do, you get more time shards. And the more time shards you get, the better your chest will be. Well, I only got 3,000, like 3,500, like 3,700. It was not that good. I got the goody goody chest. That is the worst chest of them all. It's honestly terrible. And you get scrump. This is how you get scrumptious items, infinity items, and party characters. That's the main big thing. It's party characters. That's how you get them. Um, and that's why infinity time is so important. And they and they also got a buff recently. So party characters are better than ever. And 
You need to get them, you know? If you want to be a completionist nerd like me, you got to get the characters. If you're like any of us YouTubers, you got to get the characters. It's like in your contract. That's how that works, right? All right, cool. Anyway, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I'm pretty sure that's it. Does DaveBot have something else for us? I'm not sure. He might have one more thing. Gnomes, you say? Gnomes? That does not compute. Okay, yeah. There's one more thing. Cool. You have been granted access to Infinity Time Device anytime you wish. That's awesome. DaveBot3000 would also encourage you to invite up to three friends to join you with Infinity Time to ensure you can progress further. So yeah, friends can join and help you get Infinity stuff. It's really cool. Don't forget to check the Infinity Time leaderboards and compare your progress against other agents. We are all counting on you not to screw this up. Good luck. Also, go play multiplayer. It's cool. Like you. I have nothing more to say about that. Cool. Thanks, Dave Butt. You're really, really doing me proud, man. And that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed because we're going to do this, do this on the zombie side and get ready for a little bit of differentness because instead of a Junkosaurus, it is a Robocat. These ideas get better and better every time I play. See you in the next one.